Donald Trump is the most prolific liar in history. His blatant lies, narcissism, and incompetence have made him a walking disaster for our country. This all pales in comparison to his recent budget proposal. After giving massive tax cuts to the wealthy and corporations, he now wants to make up the difference by stealing from hard-working American citizens who have been contributing members to society and who, upon retirement, are counting on the funds that have been involuntarily extracted from their paychecks for many, many years. Trump proposes to cut $845 billion from Medicare, but that's not all. This proposal also includes across-the-board cuts to both Social Security and Medicaid according to The Washington Post and MSNBC. Trump would have a massive revolt on his hands if he could pass his spending bill, which he claims will balance the budget in 10 years. According to The Washington Post, this bill cannot possibly balance the budget before 2034. Yet another lie from Trump. Taking money from the elderly poor and sick is despicable, and I have a suggestion for Trump to balance his budget without stealing from Americans. Trump needs to keep his useless butt in Washington and do his job. According to the Washington Post, taxpayers paid over $64 million for Trump's trips to Mar-a-Lago during 2017 and 2018. To see the full range of his travel activities, take a deep breath first and check out this article. Further, NBC News reported that in 781 days in office, Trump spent 229 days at Trump properties and 173 days at his golf properties. In February 2019, the Government Accountability Office estimates that federal agencies incurred approximately $13.6 million for four trips to Mar-a-Lago from February 3 to March 5, 2017, as published by NPR. These figures do not include the hundreds of thousands spent in Secret Service protection for Junior and Eric's travels, 